eat. eat. And when we will. Thank you. Dozens of grocery store workers rallied today in Seattle on the first day of the Kroger and Albertsons merger trial. Attorney General Bob Ferguson filed an antitrust lawsuit in January to try to stop the merger, saying that it violates the state's antitrust law, eliminates Kroger's closest competitor, and will cause consumers to pay more for less. Today, one union worker said that the federal trial currently underway right now in Portland is telling for workers. If the merger goes through, <laughs> they give a lot of reassurances, but it gives me little comfort. They even testified last week in the federal trial that there are and actually nothing legally binding them in these promises. The companies have tried to dismiss this case. The judge has ruled that it will continue. So joining us tonight here in the studio to discuss is John Kirkwood, antitrust professor at Seattle University Law School. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Washington's one of eight states plus uh, D.C. trying to block this from happening. What is the status of this merger tonight? Well, there are ongoing cases in Portland by the FTC and here in Seattle by the state attorney general. And there's a third case by the attorney general of Colorado that isn't, hasn't yet begun. Uh, the case in Portland, the federal case, and the case in Seattle have started, but no decision has been reached yet. So, so, so the trials are happening. They're happening, and this is like a deal that's been in the works for more than two years now. What's the likelihood you think it will go through? I think this merger is 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 very troubling and don't expect it to, to succeed. This is the largest merger in history and in many markets like Seattle, it will uh, create a firm with an enormous market share, which, which raises serious risks of higher grocery prices. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. Still, these two companies, Kroger and Albertsons, persist. The federal government's taking action in Portland. How might that federal case impact our state case? If well, all? if the federal case results in a decision sooner than the federal, mm -hmm. than the state case, it could help or hurt. I expect the FTC to do well in Portland, so I expect a decision there will propel Bob Ferguson's case forward. Okay, so let's talk about this merger because Kroger and Albertson say that it would put them in a better position if they can merge to compete with the likes of Costco and Walmart. Given the surge that we've all seen in grocery prices, what would be the benefit or would there be one for consumers? Would grocery prices go down or up? Yeah, Kroger contends that if it's allowed to purchase Albertsons, it will uh, lower costs and lower prices. Mm -hmm. It will become more efficient and that will be better for consumers. The problem is that companies always say that. They always say that if you let us merge, we'll, we'll benefit consumers and it often doesn't happen. What do you think based on the deal that you've seen laid out? Will consumers benefit or do you think we're gonna end up as grocery shoppers paying more? I think it's probable that consumers will be hurt. And one major reason is that Kroger's proposed remedy to mm -hmm. sell off 140 plus stores. 140 plus in Washington, almost 600 nationally, isn't likely to succeed. They're selling it to a wholesaler whose retail experience is minimal. And if you look to see what stores are on that list, it would affect so many people broadly. If you shop at one of those stores that might be sold off, how would that impact that consumer? Well, there, there's, there's precedent here. Um, the attempt by or the uh, successful merger of Albertsons and Safeway, the FTC tried to remedy it by having some over 130 stores sold to a Portland chain, Hagen's, and Hagen's couldn't handle the extra stores and went bankrupt. As a result, stores were closed and stores were sold back to Albertsons. So it could be that your store closes as a result of this merger. Which is the fear for those, especially in smaller communities that yes, have one of those exactly. stores. Yes, exactly. So in your mind, why do you think Kroger and Albertsons have been so persistent over such a long time, spending so much money on this legal effort to try to merge when it feels like the odds are against it? Well, I agree the odds are against it, but they think that if they're allowed to get bigger, they can reduce their costs. And that may be true. The, they may get uh, scale economies that do benefit them, but I'm afraid that once they merge and get large market shares, they will pocket the cost savings and raise prices. 
We certainly appreciate your perspective on what is a complicated issue, but for most of us, it's just a comes down to how much are we going to pay for groceries, right? Professor Kirkwood, thank you so much. We'll have, hope to have you back as okay. this all plays out <laughs> from Seattle U. Really appreciate it. That. Making it all make sense for us. Thank you. Sure.